what's going on you guys what's up my name is barbarian and welcome to another story time with barbie today we have a really great story and i'm going to talk to you guys about that in a bit but first let me go ahead and ask you this what if i told you that you could stay in bed play video games play on your phone play with your ipad all day you didn't even have to get up and i'll pay you twelve hundred dollars a week now would you say yes to that I think you guys would so let me know in the comment section below what you would say to that question and then at the end of the video I want you to give me an answer again because I have a feeling once you hear all the details you might change your mind but first guys let's talk about the server we're playing on today today's video is filmed on play.cooncraft.net and once you're on there you're gonna want to go ahead and go to the team server that's where you'll find awesome games like king of the hill which is what you're watching right now as well as a lot of other fun pvp games for you guys to enjoy so if you want to come play with me then hop on the ip down below or on screen and if you go ahead and try and kill me just be aware I'm using a new night kit that I got and I have to say this is gonna really make me hard to kill so go ahead and try we'll see if anyone beats me now on to the story so if you guys said yes to that here is what you signed up for NASA is willing to pay $18,000 for people who stay in bed for 70 straight days that is over two months of doing nothing but laying in bed now this is not something that I have a lot of experience with. Just kidding, I actually slept until noon today. So I immediately saw this and thought to myself, this is the perfect job. Who wouldn't do this? $9,000 a month to lay in bed. I, I don't know how you could actually do that. I mean, I don't know what other jobs would be more more flexible and more uh, easy to do than that. But it's not all fun and games. You see, this isn't just nine or 70 days of sleeping. You're actually doing a study called the bed rest studies, which participants have to spend 70 straight days in bed, never getting up. They have to basically let their bodies get extreme aggressive body atrophy, which is when the muscles in your legs, which are used to allow you to walk, you don't think too much about those because you use them every day. You don't really have to work out too much to make sure that your legs stay strong enough to lift you up. Because you're walking and you're doing things, etc., it doesn't really, it doesn't matter. You won't get atrophy in day-to-day -day life. But if you let yourself slip and you for some reason decide to stay in bed for, oh, I don't know, two and a half months, then you might start to get atrophy, which it basically means your legs won't be strong enough for you to walk anymore. And that's essentially what NASA is paying you so much for. They're not paying you for your time spent sleeping in bed because let's face it, if anyone was going to pay me any amount of money to lay in bed all day, browse my phone, browse Reddit on my laptop and play some Xbox, I think all of us would be on the same page. That is a lot of fun. But if they're gonna make me lay in bed and I have to literally rework my body from the ground up, as in, I might not even be able to pick up this gallon of milk to pour myself a milk. My arms would be that weak after not using them for say, I don't know, two and a half months so that's what i was thinking i want to know what you guys have to say though would you still do this because here's the thing i have a feeling that a lot of you guys said yes at the beginning and i'm going to read the comments to see what you guys said at the beginning of the video but i also want to know what you guys have to say now because now that you know the details uh, personally it doesn't sound as fun to me i'm one of those guys that needs constant movement I, I i always go for walks outside that's why i love living in seattle i live in bellevue which is outside of seattle so it's a little bit greener than the city but i walk around on these nature trails that my my apartment complex has and it's just it's absolutely beautiful i've never seen anything so nice i, I just love walking around here and the point being if I sit too, if I sit still too long, I start to go crazy. So I'm not really exactly sure if that's what they want to happen. It says the study is basically looking at the physiology in space, essentially how not having any gravitational force pulling you down and also working your legs and your body and your other muscles and your organs out. So I guess what they're trying to say is that laying down in bed is the best way that they have to simulate deep space travel because this is not just for astronauts who go to space for a couple of days, although that is an issue. In fact, when Neil Armstrong came back from the moon, he wasn't able to walk. He actually had to relearn how to walk, go into 
I don't want to say physical therapy because I'm sure it was much more advanced than that, but basically had to revamp his body back up to to standards. And not to mention, they had to be quarantined for like a month, but that's a, that's a story for a different day. Let's go ahead and continue on our path and figure out exactly why we wouldn't want to do this. And I think the main reason is that NASA is not just paying you to lay on your ass. They're paying you so that they can study you. And that means daily particular tests and daily particular bodily, I don't know, squirty things, needles, I'm assuming, lots of poking and prodding. They're basically using you as a guinea pig to see what's going to happen to the actual astronauts when they get sent into space. Because when you send astronauts to the moon, it doesn't take them that long to get there. Realistically, the moon is one of the closer things in our solar system. In fact, it's the closest thing to Earth, and it's not even close. So that is what they're talking about. They're not talking about sending it to the moon. They're talking about what happens when we send an astronaut on a three-year journey to Mars or a 20-year journey to Mars or anything like that. That is exactly what they are trying to do. So in all honesty, I'm not really sure if I'd sign up for this, but I honestly would sign up if I was going to Mars. That sounds like a fun time, as long as there's a return destination. Although they've said that that if you're gonna colonize Mars, you may not get a return trip back. So I don't know about that, but what do you guys think? Would anyone actually take this opportunity? I mean, granted, $18,000 is a lot of money, but when you're talking about letting your body atrophy to the point where you won't even be able to walk, I don't know, that just doesn't seem worth it to me. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to let me know in the comments section below. Also don't forget to hit that like button and check out the server, play.cooncraft.net. It's a great server. I'm gonna be on there later today with my new night kit and I think you guys will definitely enjoy it. So with that being said, I do hope you enjoyed the video and as always, my name's Barbarian, peace out.